give you a quick run over of the whole thing since this is a it's a lintel video but it's the whole job done so scaffold's been awkward lintel's been awkward very very heavy Morning. What's the date? Mate, you stand a bit close to the camera. Yeah, you might. It's the 20th. Yeah, 20th. As I was driving to work. 20th. 20th of Long June. Mistake. Yes. Um, and obviously, yesterday we got this finished. Today. It's that. That. Yes. We we already know from yesterday that there that is an arch in there, so there's no won't, probably won't be a lintel. So we're going to get that arch out, get this lintel in, and then patch it. We've got to bring. Oh yeah, we didn't. We brought the blocks. Never mind. And we'll just get patched with blocks because it's going to be rendered again. Yeah, and we're just uh, we're just figuring out how to get this on the scaffold now. So um, we'll put you back on time lapse while we uh, figure it out. Figure it out. Right, welcome to the shit show. Here we go again. Well, we've got it up, as you've seen on this time -up. And look at that for Belkast. Look at that. Currently, these tiles are being held in by silicon, silicon silicon, and a few packers, and then a trim, and that's it. See, it's just filled with packers. Build the packers, just fold everything in, all the windows, sits there. I don't think it's actually sat on the window because it's not moving, but uh, it's, it's definitely crumbling. Just spoke to one of the neighbours and they said they had theirs done when they moved in and they, they, they had settlement on the front of their house too. This is the bit that concerns me. So, we haven't got, to, obviously we'll get to that in a bit. We're all covered up, protect the window. I can't see the bit. I don't, don't know what to do about a tray. It's a work in progress. I personally don't think it needs a tray. You've only got that from the window to here above it and it's going to be rendered so there's no water getting in. There's no water going to get in from above because of the window. Even if the roof leaks it won't get in. But um, yeah, what a, what a way to do it. Look at the, they're all the same. Obviously they've been built over the windows originally. See? And then when the wind, timber windows are taken out, they're not supported. There is an arch there. I don't know if that arch is going to be stable or not. The stuff underneath it isn't. So we'll just go gingerly and we'll prop it as we go. We brought three props for this. We don't want to uh, take any chances. But if, because it's a concrete lintel, we're going to have to put the tray above it. So we've got to take 150 plus. Plus, plus um, 150. Plus probably another 150 above so we can get the tray up and in. Yeah, because obviously the tray, the tray is slightly different this because there's no upstand on it. The trail goes, it won't need, won't need much of it. It's, it's this, if we put one in, it's never going to see any moisture in it. We're also going to put vents in, clear vents, the clear peat vents, and put them in loose. So yeah, let's keep going and uh, see how we get on. What time is it, Al? Is it half eight? Nine yeah, o'clock. Oh yeah, we've just been on. Um, we've just done on, been on Snag the Week with Chance on Fix Radio. So on um, Friday the twenty first of June, we'll be on Fix Radio. So um, right, let's crack on.
go, well, there's a close up of it. Jesus, there's nothing holding that up, apart from a few packers and a trim. Okay, get under those tiles, that's it. So, um, yeah, these it's, it's a triple, triple arch. So we're leaving the top arch in, taking these two out, and then we can, we've can we got room to mess around with the tray then. But we've just got an acro in and realised the lintel's there and it needs to be in the front. So the only way we're going to get this done is move the scaffold up tight, have a plank and put the acro between the planks. And before that is lift the lintel to the front of the scaffold along here, which is better anyway because it's more stable because there's on flags here. And luckily, Obviously. So we've got a bit of muscle with us. We should be alright getting it in, but we just need a hand get from there to there because two people have to people have to lift two two people have to lift the lintel and just let them finish our walk. That's what we're here for the wall plate. We're doing the uh, brought the wall plate and notched it out for us. Notched it out for us, there you go. So um yeah, basically we need everything moving in by a plank's width and then we can get cracking again. Never straightforward is it? I can't say that because we, we had a few good ones didn't we? A few, a few straightforward ones that was on the um where they did need a uh, the windows were getting replaced weren't they? Yes. They're the best ones. Right so let's get sorted. We've had our reset, so glad that Robbie's rear. So, the, as you can see the lintel's in the right place now, we can drop the acros behind the lintel. So that it's just a straight lift in, and it's not, a, it's it's two thirds of the way up now as well. Massive help. Um, we've had a break, so now we can ready to crack on. As Alex just said, there's, there's nothing to cut out. Basically it's prop up and pull the arch out, but it's definitely gonna take two of us because once you uh, take an arch out, it does tend to collapse. So once we've got this acro in, we'll take this section out underneath. We don't want the whole thing to come out at the same time. So we'll take it out a section. I've propped a couple of tiles on top of the window just to help us out. We've got yeah. some back time because one, everything's going to fall out and we're using blocks, aren't we? So And everything's going in a skip and not putting it into bags and stuff and moving it and packing it in the van. Yeah. Same device overheated. I'm not surprised. Ooh, right. These are up to you. She's nipped in to make a coffee. This is a. You've got to get your priorities right. So, there's where our crack starts there. So you can see. They, they're not happy. So that's where the crack is. Currently propped up by this, which is not tight, so it's not dropping. That should, have, that should have gone rigid 
if it was if the weight is on top of that. That's on the mullion by the way. It's not on the winter frame. There's the mullion. So it's got a post underneath it. That's just temporary until I can get past to get an acro and strong boy in here just to catch this corner here. And then that's it. That's all we're taking out. We've got 150 lintel and we'll just get a little cavity train to the insulate behind, insulate above and we'll put um, we'll put vents in even though they're not needed. So um, that's a big uh, that's a big effing board isn't it? This is a 2700 2700 wide window and that must be 10 inches deep that I bet it's, a, I bet it's 100 mil thick as well but um, yeah, that's, that's nearly there anyway I could probably manage from there lifting that up and in so once Alex gets back we'll get this last prop in and then I'll take the pockets out of the uh, the seat and the lintel and then it's probably Jeremy's been on so it's heading for 12 o'clock so we half it's half 11 so we've pulled it back definitely pulled it back nice. thank you cheers prop next those three bricks are very loose Pardon? those three are very loose yeah so I don't want to disturb I want to keep them in put the prop under them so we're going to try and get the seat out still haven't we yeah so I want to make sure it's propped tight before we start trying to do that so we'll get this last one in and then um, we should be uh, in a position for the um, getting the lintel in at about 12 do you want to get the lintel in before dinner yeah yeah okay. so we'll get that prop and I'll get a mix in while you start fettling with these uh, seasons yeah. and then we're going to have like wedge shaped pieces to go in there because of the arch there's no way I want to take an arch out Alright, we, we took one and a half arches out, but if we, could, if we can get away with it, we don't want to take it out. Because it's, it's still doing its job. Although it's settled a bit there. But um, yeah, the lintel's going to fix that. Because the, lint, the, the lintel seating is going to go under the end of the arch, so it's all going to be supported. And as I say, it's getting re-rendered. I just don't envy the guys taking the render off, because um, obviously this brickwork is going to be loose. It might need repointing before they render it just to give it a bit of strength or maybe put some mesh over it but, uh, yeah we're going to pack it up with slate so it'll be packed tight so but yeah, but you this this doesn't half rattle the brickwork taking this off it's not good for it at all as you can see it takes the face off and it's lime mortar so it does come loose but that's uh that's the nature of the uh, render you can't go over that again so already had two two layers on it i have no winter sills left so anyway We'll get these pockets out. I better get some sun cream on because I'm absolutely baking. And then get back to another little bit. Let's just double check the measurements before we try and insert it. It's three meter lintel in it. Yeah. Should be about three meters and four. I think. Yeah, just thinking out a bit. Yeah, three meters and sixty-five. Let's just see if this fits. It's gonna be tight there, getting that in there. I've got a slot in there. It's mine. Me, got me trowel. Yours is fine, you'll have a gap. Just behind you. Oh, for height, you mean? Oh, yeah. okay. Where's the point of trial? Yeah. Point of trial's there. Let's move it up onto here first. No, because it's going to be even harder lifting this end up, isn't it? 
Not with, not with two of us lifting it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm, I'm ready. I don't think I am, but... You should, you can count. One, two, three. See you a bit! Oh shit! You a bit. You have to set it down. Yeah, put it down. Hey, you're burnt today. I see how red you are. I've been splashing some green one. Yeah. Lift it up. Right. I can't get it in. Let's lift it up. I can help you anyway. My hand under like that, but my hand is in the way then. Do you want to swap places? No, no, it's okay. Yeah, I could probably get in that better than you. If you stabilise it a sec, I'm going to swap places. Let's keep that stable because this is hanging out a bit now. Oh, oh, one sec, your fingers are trapped. Oh, oh shit, my hand's getting crushed. Oh. In wood. No, I don't think it's the wood. I think it's the, um, the second piece of um, slate. It's not budging. Go on, you need to get that basic piece of slate from underneath, mate. Go on, I've got the weight. It's not in the way, it's pushed it out of the way. I got it. It's not going to go anywhere, it's got this underneath it. Put your hand down and feel. Can you get me the um hop down and get me the blue chisel? Right, get ready to push it in. Ready? Whoa! Unless there's a piece of brick stopping it. It's over those pieces of wood and it, it can't, it'll slide in then and then we can put the piece of slate back underneath it. That tile's out isn't it so it's lower than it should be. It's 
Let's push the tail out. Yeah, push both of them. Right, when I when I push up, you can record most of the struggle before the battery died on us. But yeah. Now I'm gonna start bedding these blocks onto the tiles so that it's on a solid bed and then I'm gonna pack above with the tiles so that everything's packed solid. Because the, the bed the, the, the lint is actually on such a tight bed. We had to bed it up to get it over these pieces of timber. And those pieces of timber are supporting the reveal at the top of the window. So we chopped one off and it, it, it sort of lost its support so we couldn't chop them all off. So we had to um but yeah look at that window. Bloody hell. So we had to um yeah go over it as you can see. So we've just about got over it. Because the height's not really a, a, an issue. But that's uh that's gonna need some bell cast that where they fitted this window. The window's way too far forward. If you look the um the sashes are forward of the, the render. They should be sat back from any brickwork. Never mind the render. Don't know why to see that one. You can see the window disappears behind the the the, the, the the render reveal. Well, this doesn't. That window should really be re, re, um, refitted. It's not bloody. Uh, it definitely not fitting. Uh, screwing up to the new lintel. That's uh, the frame. That flexes. Could you not packing onto it? So yeah. Oh, well, actually, just going to start doing your cuts for me. We can start getting patched up. A lot of tidying up to do because it's the last day. Next door, he's looking at having his done. And then. Um, well, that's the tidiest side up as well. So, yeah, luckily, we don't have to be spot on with the garden because the garden's getting redone. Just, just uh, presentable, and it's roasting. It is. It's nineteen degrees. I'll tell you what, Alex, it feels warmer than nineteen, doesn't it? 19. Considering it got to it 38 last year. It's 19. The glue from my book melted. Yeah. And the glue that was holding the um, the padding and, and the, the breaker box. melted. Yeah. yeah. We moan about it being cold and wet, and then as soon as it gets warm, we moan about it being too hot. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's this to patch. A um, bit of insulation for Alex to cut once he's done them cuts. Because we're insulating it as always. And. Um, Wall plate to go. Jobs are good. All right. There we go. Put a train. Insulate underneath. And put a train. And pull that tight. Well, put a little bit of a sag in it. That's it. Best we can do. No upstands in it because we cannot go on upstands. I'm not taking the end of the arch out. For the sake of an upstand that doesn't need to be there on a rendered wall. We could have just built it without the tray because there wasn't, there wasn't a tray in anyway. Never been a tray in it. It's never leaked. But that doesn't mean we should leave it out. So we've got it in best we can. I'm going to get it bricked up and get it packed up. That's not moved. You can still see the paint in the crack so we're not, we're not doing so bad. Right, that little gabbing on the radio. See, once I'm up here, I'm up here, I'm stuck. So if I run out of anything, I can't get down. 
Well, I can't get down. It's just very painful to do that. So, update. Where we're up to? I think it's 20 past three, mile past three. There you go. Everything is packed up tight. The, um, this, the, obviously it's going to be a crack in the brickwork that I'll probably need pointing before they render it just to tidy up or maybe even some um, jelly bars put into it a few different points just to give it a bit of um, stability it's not going anywhere now because this, this this monster's taking all the weight now I've put, uh, I'm only putting three vents in because they probably won't get um, used and I've put them in very loose they won't pull out and they won't push in but they will move so if the, if the renderer decides to leave them in he can decide where he wants them and then I put them in every every two block so can't get, can't get in in the end because there isn't room so but, but at the end you've got the overhang where the water can run into the cavity and away harmless, harmlessly same there it'll go into the cavity down there um, yeah that's it one piece to, well, there's music going on now one piece to go in here now with big perps and the vents going here and then that's it done here we can start packing up and we can't pack the van up until the scaffold's finished so it takes when we're waiting for me it holds everything up because we can't pack anything away so I need to hurry up and give this window a good clean here comes Alex with the last bit of gobble and then it's on the home run oh yeah what I was going to say every, every block has two pieces of uh, uh, rosemary towel and then and then it has some packed at the top so everything's packed really tight. We don't usually do that because um, if we did that on the um, angle irons, we put too much pressure on it and it, it would bend the angle iron and it would bend the, it would push the window down as well. Tighty pack it, it will move. What's that? What's it? Is it deflection? Yeah, deflection. So even the concrete lintel will move like micromillimeters. So you've got to be careful how pack you tight, how tightly you pack it. But this is nice. This this is um. You can see it's solid. So let's get this last bit in. Oh yeah, I've got two pieces of wall plate to bed as well. It's not your average lintel job, is it? So it's just... It came out easy, but scaffold's been awkward. Lintel's been awkward. Very, very heavy. I'm quite surprised just two of us managed to get that in, to be honest. And it's just uh, thank God for Robbie and Robbie saving the day. We've been lost without them two coming today. Right, so I need to hurry up. What do you think? I'll just put... Um, Step ladder in there, put one one plank across. Probably, yeah. Yeah, like that. That's upside down. Yeah. That's that slots on top of the socket. Mm -hmm. So gotta put the other end in first and then stamp them straight on top. That is quite a uh, quite a hefty job that, but it's all done. Lintel has been finished today. We've left the tray in so that um, that the hole underneath is a bit more protected. Obviously, once the renderers come, they can chop that off. That's just for a little extra protection for now. There you go. That was heavy. It was difficult, uh, and it was very sluggish. It's like uh, it's R five now. So you need to pull your finger out. Yes, there you go. But uh, yeah, I'll give you a quick run over of the whole thing since this is a, it's a lintel video, but it's the whole job done. So three meter, three meter lintel in, replacing arches. 
At least two arches. Placing, yeah, we'll two arches. One in for safety. We've got a garden wall that Dad reduced while me and Jason were digging. Nice little bonus job there. I, I did the, uh, I, I did the pier cap, so, so you know. And then the porch, completely demolished, everything taken out, and this put up, and then a step for, yes, a step for the customers, uh, customers' dad to get on. So yeah, that is that.